Edge's Mirage over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair and a little bit of my hair. Girl, it's Scalpiana today. And guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Before we go ahead and get into wine and wigs day, y'all already know what I like to do. I like to ask y'all how y'all doing, what you drinking, I'm drinking water. Today we're doing pretty good, obviously, because baby, I have my natural hair. Like, this is giving very much braid out you know what i'm saying like i feel like it's giving braid out. don't i look like i'm giving braid out i'm giving black mona lisa girl it's v-part week season okay it's time for us to have our scalps out sun's out scalps out okay now before we go ahead and get into that i want to ask y'all a quick question can you subscribe can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs no wine though because apparently girl i got a wreck it round stomach so i don't even <laughs> So this is a minimal leave out v-part wig as you can see right here a little bit of leave out here no edges out but giving very much baby hair hologram illusion you know what i'm saying edges mirage over here <laughs> i want to say thank you to nadula hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video so this wig on my head is a v-part jerry curly wig this wig is 18 inches long 150 percent density with a small cap yes friends they got small caps it has wait five clipping combs and three sliding combs an adjustable strap in the back as well as a piano key elastic band when you pull her out of the box you definitely can wear her straight out of the box but y'all know me i gotta let, add a little bit of mustiana or something to it to get the curls popping so i immediately did that before applying the wig so i don't have to apply the wig and tug on it for this wig install this v-part wig install what i always notice i've been doing a lot of v-part wigs some v-part wigs have a little bit more tension than others but one complaint that i've heard from a lot of people that wear v-part wigs is that it's really really the cap is really really big and also that the wig weighs down on people's head well i tried out a new method today to see if this wig was going to give me the bump 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 on my head and i don't think it did it's feeling very comfortable like the tension i'm feeling is just like kind of frowning i can feel some tension around here and up here but not that much so this method i wonder if it's gonna work for y'all i'd be testing new methods out i'm gonna give y'all a full review how i applied this wig and everything you need to know about this wig so if you want to see how i applied this v-part wig with no edges out please keep on watching and i'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts about this wig and a coupon code y'all okay, let's go ahead and get started with the base for the wig but first i want to show y'all what it looks like after i wash the wig okay so it's still crunchy still got the mousse on it i think the ends are still kind of wet so we'll fluff this hair out after we apply it we're going to do a, a minimal leave out look so that means leave out at the top nothing in the front nothing in the back okay so no edges out i don't like to do edges out that's not my vibe my edges is real brittle okay they need to be sh sheltered in place you know what i'm saying like the girls need to they don't need to go nowhere so i want to do a middle part side parts don't work for me because my hair is real fine and thin in this area girl and i cannot cover a, a track nothing i cannot cover my hopes and dreams Ooh. I'm not trying to leave out too much hair because what's the point? V-part wigs are so you can leave out less hair than you usually do. But y'all know I have very fine hair, so I need to be careful. Okay, so this is a section we're going to be working with. Boom, bam. Thank you, bam. That's pretty small. Okay, let me go ahead and I'm going to braid this part forward so it's out of the way. Can I do it without grabbing extra hair? Let's see. I'm braiding this for it because I need this hair out of the way so we can go ahead and do the base for the hair. This is gonna be my leave out. The rest of this is going to be my base. So the way I like to do my base is I like to braid downwards. So I'm gonna do 
one, two, three, four. I think we're gonna do four braids. Get the braids straight up and down. It's fine. I don't even, girl, the braids don't even gotta be straight. They just need to be secure. Girl, what am I, girl, I have a, when I tell y'all I can't part, I cannot part. That's a straight part though, ain't it? Oh girl, I got a straight part, that's cute. And I'm gonna use a little bit of edge control. This edge control that I'm gonna use is a She Is Bomb edge control, and I'm gonna use it at the top of the braid. And I'm gonna be pretty generous because I feel like this is gonna help anchor the braid. Make sure there's less tension on my actual hair. Now, I'm gonna regret this because, ooh, ooh, girl, this is messy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna braid down this hair. Let me come, girl, I'm all over the place. Let me detangle this. Detangle, girl, what's gonna tangle? Let me uh, braid this hair down. Okay. So I like to braid, I tell y'all this all the time. I braid back like this. And then I braid down. So it's kind of like a half anchor braid, like half, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? I mean, then I braid downwards like so braid it all the way down and i'm gathering all of the hair now i don't put edge control on the front because we're gonna lay down some baby hairs okay because we got to make some fake edges around here okay you see i left this little hang time out i'm gonna connect it to this braid so we're gonna braid this downwards as well you also could just pull your hair back in a ponytail but girl, my hair is too, it's a slip and slide, girl. That thing will end up being on my shoulders. It's gonna give very much vest, okay? We're gonna start again with a little bit of edge control right at the roots. Well, not a little bit, a generous amount. <clears throat> I'm testing this out. I'm not sure if this will work, but this is just one of my theories. Like, this is gonna work. Put some edge control on there. And then braid downwards okay so let's keep going i'm gonna do the whole head using the same method and we're only gonna have four braids then we get to attach the wig and punch it friend so this is exciting Okay, so the base is complete, girl. It's completely braided down. It looks so neat. Something about edge control makes it like, oof. Pinned my hair off to the side. I guess we could tuck it in or something. But it's braided down, and all we have to do now is do our edges. I'm gonna take, take some edge control, put it on my hand, and like I said, I was using the She Is Bomb edge control. I love this stuff. I don't know if it's like good edge control, but like other edge controls have like broke me out because they got too much oil in them. So, yeah, I know I got sensitive skin these days, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not playing these games. I'm just gonna lay down some baby hairs. And, baby, these are big ones. Okay, now these sort of baby hairs I do not like on my wigs, but I do like big baby hairs for like under my V parts. So, this is how I like to do it. Or you could just leave your edges out, but ain't nobody doing that. Who dealing with edges? 
Girl, what do we do? You see that? All these baby hairs, girl, I got so many baby hairs to give. You want some? You get a baby hair, you get a baby hair, you get a baby hair. Okay, so now we can apply the wig. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about putting edge control on the combs. What y'all think? So these are the combs. Like these are my favorite sort of combs. These are the like U-shaped combs, not the pointy combs. It's more U-shaped, so it's smoother on the hair. I like those better. Let me try, I put edge control on this area and now I'm gonna put edge control on the combs. Let's cover these combs, girl. I'm trying to protect this hair of mine. I only got Libby. Girl, this is gonna be hell to wash out though. But that's okay, I'll do anything for my hair. It's wash day anyway. Dang, that should have been today. I should have washed my hair today anyways. Oh, I'm probably gonna regret this edge control on there, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, friend. Why don't I got a towel? And why am I looking at y'all like y'all go get me one? <laughs> There's edge control everywhere, but we're gonna see if this works. Cause usually when I slide the comb in, it is like my hair snaps and I don't like it. So we're gonna put the wig onto the head and I'm gonna size where I want the combs to be. I think I'm gonna slide them in in the back, slide them in in the front, like right here, and then we're gonna snap. Okay, how does it feel? Mm, a little tight. Okay, so never mind. I'm gonna slide in from the front. <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. And then slide in in the back. So we're gonna snap the back combs. Snap the front combs. Hmm. Baby, that's comfortable. Okay. See, this is what the edges look like. And the cap is perfect. I have a very small head. So the fact that this cap is not like flopping all over the place, I definitely could pull in the adjustable straps in the back. But as far as how it fits, it's not flapping. Look. Look, listen, Linda, Linda, you see, Linda, look. Feel like mild tension, like right in here. It's on this side, I don't know why. That's the last side I clipped. But it's very like, no, it's fine. So we're good. For the sides, there are side combs. So, and we're just gonna slide it into the side hairs. Oh, boom. When I tell you this one's comfortable, and I think this method has helped, cause it's like not tugging. It's just kinda like lightly on the hair. I'm here for it. I'm gonna fluff out the hair, so then we can blend the natural hair into it. In order to get this hair to curl up, I used the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse, and of course I distributed it throughout the hair. Then I used my Evolve 572 brush to comb through the hair and get the curls to clump up. I allowed that to dry under the hooded dryer, dryer for about 45 minutes and it completely dried. Super easy. So I didn't wash this wig at all. Is that nasty? I didn't wash it. <laughs> this is what it's looking like once you fluff it out. This is once it's like kind of crunchy, which is similar to what it looks like when it's wet. And this is what it looks like fluffed out. Very pretty. I was gonna cut it, but I wanted to see what she gave like this and I kind of still want to cut it. <laughs> But it's not giving shape, girl. I'm on the verge of cutting. Hold on, somebody save me. Somebody stop me. Let me do the other side. Let me flip out this side. Let me see. I think this is pretty. What do y'all think? Oh, that is pretty. Okay, I see you. I'm gonna bring the hair together and I just want it to be like, just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna cut just a little bit off. Y'all see, I'm, I'm gonna need y'all to stop acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about and the reason why I cut my wigs. Like I cut my wigs for a reason. Just one cut did it for me. Okay, so now all we have to do now is blend my natural hair. So let's take down this hair. And how are we gonna blend my natural hair into this? This is how I like to do it. I take my natural hair, right? So first, let me rearrange the her 
so it covers up the tracks. So I'm gonna use the, um, girl there's so much product in my hair, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna use the Cantu Shea Butter, Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I love using this to do finger coils because it's like a really thick cream. I just take a very little bit, put some on the fingers, add some to the hair, and it makes my hair like stick straight. My hair has already been blow dried and stretched from wearing it in a ponytail like forever. <laughs> and I'm a curl, finger coil it like this, and then I'm gonna hold it. Actually, I wish I went the other way. But you see how that coil comes out? Can you see it? It's more like a wave. But I'm gonna coil it with this finger. So I like to hold it for about, what, 30 seconds until the hair like sets. 30 seconds to a minute. Girl, I just started staring into the abyss. And when I finger coil it, I don't pull it straight. I kind of go in the circle, like swerving. Y'all see that? Look, listen, y'all see that? Okay, and we're just gonna let that little curl sit there. You see the curl? Do the rest of the hair. I do the finger coil method. What I like to do is take, ooh, take the little finger coiled hair, see? Then I take a piece of hair and then I wrap it around, like almost like a twist around. I'm not trying to loosen up the curls or nothing, but I just twist it around the hair and tuck it in. You see? It disappeared. Now you can see it like right there. It's right here. But you can't tell from the naked eye. Now this is how I wore my hair when I was in Vegas. Everything, girl. So I'm just gonna take this, tuck it, and I may even take a couple of curls and just tuck them in. Boom. You see that? Ew. Tuck it, take another piece and join it with that piece and tuck it, tuck it like loosely all the way down. There you go, twist it in. Take this little hair, take a piece, twist it. Ooh. Okay, and then we're gonna take this last piece in the bike, twist it in. This one in the back. Boom. Oh, and y'all see this little baby hair? Now I never do that baby hair in the front, right? But girl, that's cute. And look, where's the tracks? Can you see the tracks? Hopefully you can't see the tracks. Sometimes I'll be seeing the tracks, but today, oh my God, I'm in love. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> girl, I'm always showing up and showing out, but that's okay. But this is so pretty. This is definitely going on vacation with me. It's going on my next Vegas trip. I absolutely love this wig and it's super duper light. I don't know if it, the edge control method um, helped, but the amount of tension that I'm feeling on my hair, like on the rate of one to 10 or zero to 10 is zero. Like if I'm frowning, like I cannot feel it. The cap size is perfect. Can I feel anything? Maybe I'll give it a one, but the edge control method, I feel like it's gonna be my method. Let me show you how it looks in the back. I don't know if it's even, but that's none of your business, girl. Is it even? A little bit, it's a little piece that's too long, but don't even worry about it. Y'all, this is literally the finished look. Super easy. Like, look at these edges. Like, what are we talking about? Like, what's going on? You like it? I like it. You like it? 
I know you like it. Let's get into the pros and cons real quick. Pros, easy to apply, very comfortable to wear with that method. The cap actually fits, so it's a small cap and it's not hanging out, like really. The cap fits, what else? Everything is a pro. Now for the cons, I don't like this little comb. I think they can take that out. The little extra comb right here, I don't like that. I feel like it could be a little bit thicker. It's like, it's a good density for me, but some of the girlies that be liking thick hair, I feel like it could be a little bit thicker, but I like this density. It fits my little teeny tiny pea head. All the ends needed a trim. Maybe that's a con. Y'all tell me what you think about this unit down below. I want to say thank you again to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Baby, this is quick, simple, easy, perfect for summertime. Like I said, thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for this unit down below. I also We'll give the girls a coupon code. Girl, you get money off. I love you all. I'm in love with this hair. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this V-part wig video. Y'all let me know, are y'all open to V-part wigs for the springtime, summertime? Cause I feel like I'm gonna be open to it. Especially in like drier conditions, like drier weather conditions. I love V-part wigs in Vegas. And I cannot wait to get to Vegas. Y'all gonna see this wig in Vegas, watch, watch. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.